Hey, Arthur. C can I have a quick word? Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now... I can risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. <laughs> you just said. Hey, I'll do it, as long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. Yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but... Very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here, where there's an old ruined church, before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. This way. Bunch of smart Alex. Hey! How do you get wind of this, old man? We only been down here all of five minutes. Well, while you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. Bear! You see, gentlemen? Uh, just like clockwork. shot but this is a mistake i work for cornwall kerosene and tar mr leviticus cornwall oh great so you know <laughs> who doesn't i hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much oh he'll miss it okay why don't you check out around the back something oh great let's go arthur let's go yeah
Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Ugh. All right. Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit! Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. I ain't in there. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? What? what? Tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Low. Go check out the, the barn. Sir. Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. Place looks empty to me. And the old guy up there is full of crap. Yeah, I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Mr. 
Get the hell off me! Made a meal out of that, didn't you? This is a young man's game. Uh oh, clearly those boys ain't as quiet as us. We should go get my hand. Get out of here. Every man split up. Go on, run quick. Good luck, Johnson. Stay quiet and move. 